Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Bikini Bomb Tour. This is episode 2 of the Bikini Bombs Tour and in the last episode, we took a look at the Chum Bucket and the Krusty Krab. In this episode, we have Cindy's Tree Dome and the Rocket. And also got to show you the Snail Park afterwards. So let's get started. All this is water, inside here is air. So we're going to go into the first room. This is where all the water would fill up once you open the door. All the water would drain to this um, drain right here. All this will be dry land, well, dry air. And once you go inside, you reach a whole dimension of land. No water in here, just complete air. Yes, you can see some of her farms that she's growing. I don't know what this thing is, like some type of experiment. This is her um spinning wheel. She runs and this thing moves. Looks, looks derpy, right? This is just some lab things she was still working on. A stone cutter. Lab things for whatever she's doing there. This is her famous picnic table. Spongebob, Patrick, Sandy eats things there and talk and do whatever else we do there. A little garden. And we have some, of course, some lab lanterns when it gets dark. Let's go upstairs. This is Sandy's bedroom. Her closet with nothing, chests, books, and of course, for some reason, she has a sink. And this is where Sandy hibernates. And do you want to know how it's like when she's hibernate? This is how it looks like. This is how the tree dome looks when she's hibernating. You can see it's darker. Let's go downstairs. To outside, and it is a completely different scene when she's hibernating. Snow everywhere, you can't get out of here very easily because the door is um jammed. Everything's buried, there's a picnic table. Oof. Not a good, pleasant sight. Oh yeah, this thing here is um the oxygen. This is how she gets oxygen from the tank outside, which I forgot to build. <laughs> well not really, it's underground. And yeah. And that's how it goes. And that's his her tree. Very, very dark during hibernation. You might remember SpongeBob got stuck. SpongeBob Patrick got stuck in her tree dome during hibernation and and it wasn't good for them. Stand here to go back to that to go back to summer or something like that. I can't remember what it says. And that's it for um, Sandy's bedroom. Inside her tree. Oak tree. This huge oak tree supplies the whole tree dome with all the air it needs. This is her bathroom, sink, toilet, uh, toilet, <laughs> every episode, bathtub, and shower, more storage, because you much need that. Oh yeah, this is where all the nuts is stored during hibernation. All this is her nuts, get stored. From the um, surface, get poured down into this room. And she can use those during her hibernation thing. This is her kitchen, where she cooks. I thought the chairs and the um, design just look amazing. Her pantry. If that's where you hang her coats. Her fur. She actually hang her fur there. Um, supplies for hibernation. This is some more supplies that she would might need for hibernation. Like the iron door. Oh, I can't get inside, but you can see like the iron door there and some other stuff. This is the laboratory. This is where Sandy does all her experiments. You might remember this episode of when Squidward's um Squidward Quail Neck got stuck in her throat and they had to clear it, so we sent SpongeBob and Patrick inside of him to try to clear the um clear neck from Squidward's throat. This is where her dangerous chemicals are stored. Can't not allowed going there. This is this is Sandy's chemistry set. So when she's working all those chem chemicals, all the harmful fumes go outside, and she can work on her uh, chemistry thing inside that thing. Anyway, let's go inside inside Sandy's rocket base. This is where Sandy blasted off from the water onto the moon. Yeah, let's go inside. Let's go to the moon. <laughs> this is Sandy's rocket. Looks pretty amazing. It's very simple, just a flat thing going up with that curvy end. I go make it night time right here. There we go. Let's open the bay doors. 
Which one? Okay, I thought I broke for one second. This is... I don't even know what these things are. It's, I guess where she store moon rocks. Oh, I like this room. This is when SpongeBob and Patrick stuck into the rocket and began playing with seeing these buttons with all that um, vibration, colorful, all that weird stuff they did. Filing cabinets is where SpongeBob would have um, stayed if she was going to the moon with her. But, you know, certainly need that space for all types of stuff. And this is the cockpit right here. This is where, where you drive, I guess, the rocket. Should have drive the rocket. Alright, let's go inside. Let's go to the moon! Welcome to the moon. Let's take a look outside. Oh my. Where are we, guys? I tell you, y'all. We are in the moon. Let's get downstairs. Let's take a better look around. And this is where we landed in this moon. Wow, look at that stuff. And look at all. We already getting set up here to do some things, take some samples of um, of some moon rock. In this case, some um, gray powder, <laughs> concrete powder. But I think the moon looks pretty amazing. I think we land in a good spot. Let's hope we found some. We find some life on this planet. Mm, I don't see any life on it. Oh well, that's why you. That's why we're here to. To find life on on moon on the moon, but I guess there's no life today on the moon, which is funny because we're not here earlier. I did find a bit of life on this on the on the moon, aka I think I saw a pig here once actually, when I was looking around. But I think this was a good spot to land. Now let's go back to Bikini Bottom and wrap this episode up. Eh, okay. Let's go back to the tree dome. In the case outside of the tree dome and wrap this episode up. <laughs> oh god. Tilt up. Right. Hey, how do you. Oh yeah, I. I well, I have to break the door. I don't care. And that is it for the tree dome. A uh, moment place I should show you is the snail park, which is when Gary went to the snail park and met those bully snails. I have the hole he came from, or maybe not, maybe I fixed it by mistake. Uh, let's just say the hole that the bad snails came from was there. And of course they come in and to harass scary. And a lot of interesting things happened. You have the spinning thing, the tires, you know, all that sort of seesaw and you know all that good stuff. Anyway, that is it for Episode 2 of the Bikini Bomb Tour. If you like it, please leave a like, enjoy, maybe consider subscribing, and for all type of fun content. And guys, see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Catch you in the next one. Take care.